What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Pez Universe slash eFootball slash whatever we want to call it podcast. As you see here, we do not have Weza with us today. I'm writing, writing solo today, but we do have... I was, I, was going to call you, I was going to call you a legend in the Pez community, but I'm not really going to go that far. I'm going to say that you're kind of somebody that we dragged in after the first 17 names in our list couldn't make it. So we are wow. joined... <laughs> this asshole <laughs> we are joined by b-man obviously a lot of you guys will know b-man um from the community over the last couple of years and uh yeah i mean he's as you can see here he's he's bringing the good looks to the podcast today for anyone that's watching on youtube we're on discord and we are recording we're going to be getting into everything so i hope you guys will enjoy the chat my camera is in a different position now so i'm finding it hard to get used to it. but anyway b-man how you been man how you how you keeping I'm good. I'm good. I'm still, still, you know, trucking along with eFootball. You know nice. what I mean? Just, uh, uh still playing away. Yeah. I just, uh, you just watched me obviously smash some dude 2 now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. But look, let's get into it, man, because obviously it's been ages since you've been on the podcast, right? It's been ages since you've been on chatting. Um, obviously, we've talked a bit like over the last couple of months about eFootball and direction it's gone. And we've covered it on the podcast of like, you know, the new direction and it's all online and stuff like that, right? But I want to get your opinion on mostly talking about V1.0 compared to what we have at the moment with V1.2 because I've been having a very mixed bag with it. Like I loved V1.0 and I didn't really see many of the issues that people were having with V1.0. I thought everything I wanted in a football game was in V1.0 where it was like, out wide possession gameplay was really rewarded, which suits me perfectly. Dribbling, 1v1, taking on the man or having about three different options to beat an opponent was there. And I thought the shooting, the passing, everything was kind of was okay. It wasn't too heavy on the assistance of the or the assisted defensive like awareness of the AI and stuff. I thought everything was just fine. And I think that with V1.2, I'm seeing myself that there's more of a kind of you're kind of beating what the game is putting putting in front of you rather than what your opponent is doing sometimes. Um, so, I mean, what are your thoughts on it? Because I know, as you said, you've been smashing a lot of it. And I was even surprised that you've been enjoying eFootball as much as you have been because I know you've been very critical of it in the last couple of games or last couple of years. But, like, yeah. what are your thoughts on originally V1.0 and then now where we are with V1.2? So, uh, I had, st- I, you know, when eFootball first came out, I gave it a try and i was like wow this is horrible like when it first came out <laughs> you're talking about the beta, uh, the beta yeah? yeah 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 the test like it was just and i had gotten away from it i was just playing call of duty and some other games uh and then when version 1.0 came out and i was like all right you know some people are saying good things about it i'll load it up and see what it's about mm. and like you i was like wow this is fantastic it was like the first time in a long time that you felt Guys that like to play possession, um, you know, really could have an effect on the game. Mm, you know, uh, I agree, really yeah. could, you could play the way you want it to play. Uh, and a lot, you touched on a lot of the elements, the risk reward factor with pressing as well. Pressing wasn't as assisted. Mm. Uh, so when you, when they brought the secondary press uh, into the fold, like it, it, it wasn't, it, it, it was done correctly. Like if you beat that press, there was space. Yeah. Now you fast forward to 1.2 or whatever version yeah. it is now. It's a full on, everybody's trying to press you. But then the thing is, if you get past that press, everybody's back Yeah. so yeah. quickly. It almost like, almost like Pez 21 and, and ha- the different elements that have affected Pez negatively over the years. Um, but going back to 1.0, like you said, I only thought the biggest issue I had with 1.0 was just the kickoff glitch. Mm. You know, sometimes not mm. being able to stop that. But I thought everything else, I was like, wow, the base here is really yeah. good. Yeah, I love the um, one I absolutely loved it. I thought the AI on Legendary was mm. fantastic. Mm. Like, absolutely probably the best AI I've played since, you know, PS2 Pez. Like, uh, I, like Pez 3 probably for me, winning 11-7 International for me had the best AI of any footy game ever. Like, mm. that's still is like, like Pez 5 and 6, you know, people hold them you know up high but you know from the ai standpoint i i just love the hell out of that game and i thought the ai on legendary was great 
um, you know, and then playing online, you know, I, I felt 1.0, you could really negate the ping pong passers, like the game, just the way it was yeah. built. It didn't seem like ping pong passing was something that you could do uh, mm. successfully, at least over and over again. And now it's like, um, every game is, you know, once you get to, once you get past division three, it's yeah. like it's everybody's chaotic. trying to play the four, the four, three, one, two, or, <laughs> or four, uh, four, two, one, three or whatever. And they just try to do those between the front four. They try to do the ping pong triangles and yeah. it's, sometimes it's like so hard to stop, but mm. yeah, it's a, it's a mixed bag for sure. I think the biggest thing for me, as you touched on there, is exactly, it's how you play the game. But when you, I try to say this, like when I've been doing my YouTube series, like I've tried to say to people in the comments and they're like, oh, you made a bad pass here. You did this, you did that wrong. Like, I don't mind making a mistake if it's my mistake, if you if you know what I mean. Like, I don't mind making a mistake where it's like, okay, I shouldn't have passed there. And I go back and I'm editing the clips and I'm like, what was I doing there? Like, why did I think I could right. pass there? But I find with V1.0, there was analysis that you could do on your gameplay because you could come up against a guy that was better than you at the game, that had a higher ranking than you, but you could frustrate him. Like you could bring him into your, you could play him at your pace. Like you could bring him into a possession battle that he just wasn't able to, to kind of contend with. And like, even exactly. if he scored a goal on the break or he scored a goal from a mistake from you, you'd still get two, three chances, solid chances that you could carve out because he's just trying to chase you around the pitch or whatever. Um, right. And I just think that, as you said correctly, I think that's what I felt like in the last week or so when I've been playing, I found it very hard to put my finger on what's what I'm struggling with the most. And I think that's it, is that when somebody commits now to pressing and two, player, two players chasing you and the, the team press, as you said there, like there isn't that, ro that risk there anymore for them because... The good players. The recovery and I, is so fast. Yeah, plus on top of that, man, as well. And I say the good in inverted commas because there is some, you know, I would consider somebody that's good at a, at a game is that they learn the mechanics, they learn what works, and then they master that. And they get, the, you know, the guys that play Call of Duty, we can all have the ability to shoot the gun straight, but it's the right. guys that are able to read the map, like, you know, being able to take cues from, okay, there's three guys coming here, I'm going to flank around them and stuff like that. Like right. there is beasts at the game that will just beat me 10 times out of 10. There are fantastic players at the game like Uzmakabel and Netarito and all those guys. But I just think myself with V1.0 is that you could give anybody a game in V1.0 if you were able to, you know, if you got your good connection, if there was no lag or if it was a good right. connection between the server or whatever and your opponent. Whereas with V1.2, I'm finding myself like conceding goals where I'm like scratching my head thinking like, like what actually happened there? Because... There is no risk and reward anymore for somebody that's an aggressive player, like in a really aggressive player. I think the exactly. only way you can beat an aggressive player is to like break his press, as you said, which is what possession football is all about. Break the press, get in behind the lines, keep it out wide. But most players that are actually able to beat that will just like literally take you out. Like they'll just run into you with the teammate press and take you out with the pitch. Like, so you're a man on the ground and then... That's kind of what I've been finding is that like the good players that are beating me, they're like kind of like playing nearly rugby with me or like American football. They're just like running straight into me with the tackle. The right. ref is letting play on, but I've like my man that I'm trying to run on with is already out of the equation. Do you know what I mean? So like I know for yes. you, you probably play possession as well um, right. a lot or you attempt to as, as best as the game allows. But do you feel like, I mean, I see a few comments, right? When you go back to PES 21, because we haven't really spoken about PES 21 in ages, like, I would urge anyone to go back and think that the base for eFootball isn't better than what was there with PES 21. No, I'm not saying modes, co-op, Master League, all that was way better, obviously. But in terms of, like, what suits me as a footballer in terms of gaming, the gameplay suits me better. But then that is starting to creep in with the PES 21 collisions and stuff like that now, I think, in the last build. That's just what I right. feel, um, which is frustrating. And you know what's you know funny? When you get on podcasts like this, when it's like a 1v1, mm. normally for great banter, you want to disagree with the guy, you're going yeah. and, and show a different... But it's yeah, so yeah. funny. Like and We didn't really talk about this beforehand, but I agree with so much of what you are mm. saying. Um, uh, the collisions, yes, the referees. And, and the thing for me also is that 
like when you go back to Pez 21, there is a you do have certain player ID animations that I feel are missing in eFootball. Yeah. But other than that, the game just feels dated to me. Mm. Like, like I love e, I love the base of eFootball. And as we kind of alluded to as we were setting up this podcast when you were doing some testing, it's almost like we're going to be living and dying with each patch. Like yeah. same with yeah. FIFA, same with Call of Duty. It's like every patch is going to bring its – every version – one point whatever is going to bring the elements that it does well and then you're going to scratch your head wait why the fuck did they change that like mm. why why did they mm. do that um and so yeah i mean the i agree with you i think the biggest thing is the risk reward elements with pressing like in version 1.0 you could turn a guy push the ball into space and almost like like in in a in a real match like lift your head up see what options yeah. you wanted to take, yeah. maybe rip a shot. Now you turn a guy, the recovery is so fast, and the second mm. press from his teammates come and close you down so yeah. quickly yeah. that you lose that element. And what I'm finding is I try to play possession to an extent, but as you get to the higher levels uh, in divisions, in Dream Team, uh, when guys are coming at you pressing like that, you're almost forced to play one touch. Yeah, you know. What yeah, I mean? you kind of have to. Yeah, to get a and result so like you do have to. I I try my best to, you know, actually play the game. Like try to create cool stuff. Like try <laughs> yeah. to create cool patterns and movements. Like right now, I'm playing with um, uh, Chelsea B's default <laughs> formation. It's like a five two two one. And then I make it a five, two, three with wingers uh, as a sub tactic for counterattack. But I, you know, I was on YouTube looking at, you know, attacking patterns for a three, four, three and different like, and I can actually use those patterns in the mm. game and it opens up space for me. And so, you know, there's little intricacies, little cool things, but it's just, you know, you scratch your head wondering where they're going with this because 1.0 had, you know, it had such great affinity. So many people liked it and they have to. They have to see that people aren't as happy as they once were. Like it, mm. it's there on social media. Yeah. Like I don't understand what their thought process is. Mm. It's a difficult one, man, because there were some parts of V1.0 that weren't good as well that I think they've improved with V1.4 in terms of certain animations and stuff. But it's just you have to fight, I think, so hard to get that like fluidity to come across, you know, that kind of way. That's yeah. that's for me, like I played a match the other day. And I was hitting passes and, you know, I was doing everything I wanted to do. And the physicality was there with the collisions and stuff. And I was using my strong players to kind of bully, like, you know, like David Alaba at the back or somebody like that. That's usually, you know, he's very dominant in V1.0. But you have to fight to kind of see that. Like, you have to scratch, scratch and scratch some more away at the surface to get, to see that. You know what I mean? Whereas with V1.0, a lot of this stuff that you were seeing that was good about the game... I feel it was happening organically. Like it was happening naturally on the pitch. And it's like, right. I played so many matches where I was like, yeah, like that guy deserved to beat me. And I could see where I went wrong. Whereas in yeah. this current version of the game at the moment, I do Dude, feel I like- I lose so many matches to guys that I'm dominating and just they do the the ping pong they, where they get the <laughs> kickoff glitch and I lose yeah. like by one goal when I'm like, God, it's so frustrating. Mm. There, there's a guy I follow, Charles. I can't remember his last name, but I follow him on social media. And, and almost every week, he's posting uh, uh, the the how many people are Twitch oh, streaming Steam, or watching, yeah, or streaming, yeah, yeah, or, or doing FIFA. And also, he like compares FIFA and eFootball. And 1.0, there was so many more mm. streamers, so many people into it, and you the data was there to to even show yeah. that. And now it's it's like nothing, but. Going back, there's videos that I had posted on the Footy United YouTube page of, like, I, I have Pulisic as my left winger. Mm. And so in version 1.0, the things that I was able to do dribbling with him was was awesome. Uh, and what I'm finding now with dribbling is when I get it out to a winger and I start dribbling and and I, I kind of use an opponent's momentum against him to cut back or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, or, or do like a... a, a a shoulder drop and, and cut inside to rip a shot. One, the the physics and momentum of the defender isn't what it was in 1.0 where the defender can recover quicker. 
And mm. also because they, I guess, as you mentioned, they OP def- defending and guys now get back so quicker, like so fast. Like if you lose possession, you can see guys running back on the opponent's team. Um, or I'm sorry, if you, uh, if you gain possession, you can see the guys on the, the opponent's team run back literally like speed, mm. like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, like they're on a train. Yeah. And it wasn't like that in 1.0. And then that's something that I hated in, in, you know, the Pez series in, in 20 and 21 is, you know, guys got back so fast and it, it just it lost that risk reward element. Well, getting back to pool sick. Now, if I do something like that, I have a dribble, I'm dribbling, I'm cutting back where I, or where I could cut across and rip a shot with his right foot and a, def- a defender, I would use his momentum against him to come across. Mm. You know, now I'm dribbling. If I, if I am successful with that, I'm dribbling into one or two other guys that are right there yeah. to, because they got back so fast. Yeah. And so you lose that, that, that funness when it came to dribbling, it's just not there anymore. Um, but I'm so addicted to just wanting to play a footy game and, and it, I still think it's better than FIFA right mm. now. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, uh, you know, I, it's just something that, I'm fighting through each version, hoping to get the best out of it, just because I want to play a footy game. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but um, when it flows, like when it works, when it actually plays well, there is it is it is, I think, a brilliant experience. Like I still think it sh- it can shine through with V1.2 even now, even though I'm complaining about it and picking it apart and stuff. Like I do think that like there was one or two matches there I played in the last week or so where, you know, I was literally like like I want one more. Do you know what I mean? I was like, I have to go back to work, but I want one more. It's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I trust, more, like, I'm, I'm dealing with the same thing. Yeah, man. I, I still you know, get that So, like, for all like, the complaining oh. I do, that that is still there. Um, you know, I think that like I'm still logging on. I'm still playing. I'm still enjoying playing it. I think from talking to people and like obviously, what Wes not being on the podcast today, he will be back quite soon. But like from talking to even Wes and stuff, I think a lot a lot of people that. I think a lot of people have played a lot of it. Like I was, you know, I, we put up a poll on, on Pez Uni on the Twitter the other day. And it was like, some guy was saying like, oh, you know, this is the worst, you know, this is terrible e-football. I just, you know, don't like it or whatever. And I think he said, I was like, oh, well, how many hours have you played of it? Do you know what I mean? Like, have you actually yeah. given it a good try? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I've played like, you know, over 400 hours. And I was like, Jesus, like I haven't even played, like I've played less than 200 hours and I've been, you know, smashing it. So I think a lot yes. of the problems that people are seeing and maybe a lot of the problems that I'm seeing now is me just catching up with actual time spent compared to, you know, the likes of Sep, who, you know, Sep will go on and do a nine hour stream. I mightn't play nine hours in two weeks, like up the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, right. I, you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm, I'm doing other stuff and I'm, you know, back playing PES 2013 and doing videos and stuff like that. And it's like, I do think that V1.0 was i'm not going to say it was the holy grail of it but i just felt that there was so much more good going for it even with it, all had, the a, it had a pez 2018 beta feel to it mm, definitely the yeah. defending was loose you the defending was very manual you had to move your guys around you had to cut off passing lanes pressing was risk reward you know dribbling was you know risk reward mm. uh in turn it, it just it had a lot of things going and like you said it, it's like they they tightened it up. It just feels more assisted. Yeah. I'm using the same settings that I used before. Yeah. And everything just feels sometimes out of your control. Yeah. And but what keeps me coming back to play one more game is though even though 1.0, the gameplay was, you know, I was having such a blast with this latest version, there'll be moments that mm. it like it clicks mm. and you're like those, that's what keeps those you coming back stick like stick with you and yeah. that's what keeps you come back even though you're like man this isn't as good as 1.0 yeah um but yeah for me i i you know I'm, I'm curious to see where they go from here with everything um i was very critical and, and still have been very critical uh of konami and 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 everything but you know i'm at a point now where it's like hey I, if i'm having fun with something i'll play it if i'm not having fun i'll go play something else exactly you know what i mean well, so that's what game it should be shouldn't it like you're not gonna i think it's the only medium that you sit down and they're like you know if you don't watch a movie if you don't like a certain movie you're not going to watch it again next week you know what i mean right. if you watch a movie and you're like oh that was terrible you're not going to be like oh do you want to throw this movie on again we watch it for a second time whereas with pez or eFootball or cod 
you would be like, oh, that was so frustrating, but like, yeah, I'll play next week as well, or I'll play tomorrow, or oh, you want tonight, yeah. or whatever. I think they just need, you need to be playing like at least 70% of your matches where you feel like it's an enjoyable experience, whether you win, lose, or draw. I mean, nobody likes right. to lose, you know what I mean? Like, if I went down and played you, and I lost, like, I'd probably delete the game and never, like, look at myself in the mirror again. But well, well, because of that, friendly matches is coming soon, so we'll be able to test that theory. Yeah, man. Yeah, we'll definitely. But like, that's the thing, man. We've we we'd like to do. I want to make sure. Like no, 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 no. I want to make sure when when I stream it and I beat you, that you never play the game again. That's... <laughs> no, I'm not. You're not going to beat me. <laughs> you're not going to beat me. Number one, we'll do best of three. We'll do best of three. Oh, uh, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I'm. I'm down with that. I'm down yeah, with man. that. The player ID in terms of the stats, mm. I think, really is impactful. Like yeah. if I'm trying to hit, you know, stunning crossfield passes with, you know, a, my keeper coming out from the back or my center back, you know, more often than not, they'll go out of bounds. Mm. You know, they'll go out of play. Yeah. And so I think they've done uh, a good job. It, it, it's just I feel like they just made things tighter but not for the better, mm, like tighter yeah. in terms of two assisted in certain areas yeah, compared to 1.0. Mm-hmm. And that's where, that's where the difference is. Uh, I feel like, but, um, and I'm glad you said, never played the build. I played at Windsor because like it was so was it manual. Terrible? It was no, it was oh. no, it was so good. Like it was so manual. Was this before 1.0? Yeah. 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 Really? It was so manual. Like it was just the defending was literally, if you left space, like with your center back, you were just completely yeah. exposed. Like you know, there was no catch up and there was no like assistance with it at all. It was literally just you with your back line defending. And like, see, that's, yeah, that's great. But that's not that going to appeal to the masses, though, man. And I said that yeah, when no. we were at Windsor, it's not going to be like that at launch because what will happen is you will have guys coming on that will want they don't like the the majority of people right and i'm not putting a big broad brush over people and trying to make generalizations but the majority of people don't want to go on after work and sit down for two hours and play four matches and be you know jose Mourinho, where they're going to have like tactical battles of like four nil alls in a row where they like completely like it's a game of chess they want to go on and they want to score a 30 yard volley with mbappe like that's just the majority of people in my opinion i think yeah. You know, we're an older kind of fan base. Like the majority of people want to score those long range bangers. They want to beat their opponents four or five nil and have fast, like super um I would say like uber realistic, where it's like there's no real animations linked. It's just literally like pass, 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 pass kind of animations. Um But then so th- this comes this comes back then. You bring up a great point. This comes back to the argument that we've been having for the last ten years just mm-hmm. in in the community side where it's like, okay. So then as you can see now, if you go to the, you know, you know, Twitch viewer stream streamers, people who are doing say FIFA and, yeah. you know, eFootball, you know, if, if that's what eFootball is aspiring to be, you know, people are just going to play FIFA. Like that's yeah. like, so are you going, why not try to be different? Yeah. Like, what other you're not going to win that you're not if, like i understand what you're saying in terms of people want to come home they want to xyz i totally totally get how yeah. they want to play but i also think there is a large segment of the population that's not happy with fifa but plays yeah. it anyway and would love something different yeah but it here comes e-football uh 1.0 had this different feel to it a lot of people liked it uh yeah. you know people were raving about it and now those people that liked it, this latest version, they're like, ah, fuck off. I'm going to play FIFA. Yeah. So no, I agree with you. I definitely think you they, I mean? they should do their own thing. Like I, I personally would rather more of V1.0 than, do you know what I mean? Than anything. Like I yeah. think that that was a really good experience. Like I've waxed lyrical about that, but I'm just saying it's like, it's like the argument that, you know, people on Twitter or people on social media or whatever, like we all have a voice and we all have a right to use the voice and have opinions. But at the end of the day, if you've got 500 people, you know, like complaining about the game, right? And like protesting against playing e-football because there's no Master League, but you've got 5,000 people buying Bayern Munich, like Power Pack. Like it's very hard to, it's very hard to shift the dial on like what's working and what's not working. And I just think that like, they just need to find a balance of like an alternative to FIFA that's still approachable enough that you know you can actually pick it up and play, but to master still 
a mastery there to it that you could everyone had the magic. same tools yeah. but there, there yeah. was magic yeah to mastery. there was definitely magic 1.0 yeah. had that magic yeah 1.0 had this like magic to it and it was funny i, I it took me time to get used to 1.0 mm. uh because i i didn't play any of the previous versions of e-football yeah because when beta came out i was like wow this is terrible remember the camera angle is that the dual camera angle yeah or the something? dual camera yeah Oh my gosh! I was like, "This looks like trash." I was like, uh, "I, I was playing." I went back and started playing Call of Duty, and I, I picked up 1.0 and was like, "All right, you know, I'll check it out." And at first, I'm like, "All right, you know, this is." Uh, I, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. It took you time to yeah, like, yeah. There was definitely a learning curve in it. Like, yeah, there was a huge learning curve. Mm. Once you figured out the learning curve, I'm like, "Wow, this is awesome." Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really enjoyable. So, what do you think? Like, what do you think then? Looking ahead now. Um, I, I saw people posting, uh, their friendly, I guess friendly lobbies is coming soon. Yeah. Friendly lobby is coming. I think coming Thursday for mobile, but it's not coming for console Thursday. Uh, yeah. As far as I know, but I reckon, I reckon that I reckon like they'll want to get friendly lobbies out by the time FIFA launches, you'd imagine. So maybe next month, I mean, FIFA's launching the 23rd, I think. So you, you know, they'd probably want I think that they'll probably want friendly lobbies out and maybe maybe match pass or whatever way they're going to do that. I think when what FIFA do does think, come out, that's going question. to be the big test for them. What What do you think of... It seems like a lot of the competitions, mm. you know, the worldwide clubs, the European clubs, um, you know, versus AI, versus user, they're, they're really starting to become redundant. Yeah. And it's like, what other modes can they come out with because uh, like you said fifa's right around the corner yeah hyper motion too everybody's gonna see what that's all about it's, yeah. i mean it's probably gonna start great like like fifa Every 22 year. i'll be honest with you when fifa 22 launched the only issue i had was the ai was blocking every shot around yeah the yeah yeah well that's always the but way with the auto blocks the auto block if they were able to turn that down like i thought fifa 22 out of the gates was awesome and now it's it's crap again but mm. um but I mean, the same thing's going to happen with FIFA 23. You just know it well, when the the pro players take over. So, you know, I'm still looking at eFootball as being the uh, the go to game. It's just yeah. can they can they bring some other types of modes that are yeah. on something fresh because it's just getting redundant. Yeah, I think they'll bring. I think once they start to bring co op, you know, into it, I think if they had drop in drop out co op. That would be that would be really fun, and I think when they bring the filters in, you know, that if I'm able to invite you into a lobby, and you know, set the limitations that we can only use three star teams. Do you know what I mean? That you have to go into your squad yeah. and pick your squad and stuff like that, and do tournaments like that. But I do, I genuinely do think that this year was all about getting the game out, um, you know, and then having a base to expand upon it. Because like, yeah, I think FIFA is going to be big this year because it's the last year as a FIFA title as we know. Um, right. But I think next year is going to be like, you know, like eFootball needs to be like it needs to be solid before they start to add modes. And I think it was with V1.0. But then I think obviously with the mobile and stuff like that, that is a big, a big market as well. Um, yeah. I think when they add co-op, I think co-op will change, will like give it a lot of life um, if they can add co-op quite soon. But like. As of now, there's nothing to there's nothing to like put under a microscope except the gameplay. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah, nothing to really I would like to do like a mode, like a custom like it'd be great to do custom tournaments. A yeah. custom league mode where like me, you, Weza, we could get you could get ten people together yeah. or something and do a set up a league competition. Everyone plays each other twice and yeah. you know Yeah, be sick. Uh that I mean I don't I don't understand like that that can't be that hard to do. No, I I think they probably have plans for all of that, man. But sure, it's like edit mode. Do you know, it, there's like there's no ability to even change anything at the moment in edit mode. And I think when they add that, that will add a lot to the game as well. I just think that this is basically you know it's still in a stage of right. We have Dream Team out. Dream Team is our launch mode, and then they're going to expand upon it. That's genuinely what I I think is like. Right. There is massive scope there for it, but yeah, I mean, as I said, like for all the complaining I'm doing about it, like I'm still looking forward to playing a few games tonight, <laughs> Do you know, like, and yeah, it's not I, out of I, like, oh, I'm addicted and like, I have to Why play it like, or whatever. Play. It's like, I'm actually looking forward to going on and playing it. Like, so there yeah. is an enjoyable experience there to be had with it. Um, 
I just feel it's like that we tough just because you don't want to be too critical uh, when you're uh, obviously enjoying something. It's just you just enjoyed something so much so more much. before. Yeah, you yeah, know? that's I it. Mean, that's that's a tough one. Tough yeah. part. But when you're enjoying but, something uh, and you're as passionate as we are about something, whether you know we like have had issues with the series, like obviously over the last few years, like there's been what so so many games over the last twenty five years or so, like we want the best for it like we want the best and in a selfish way not saying that we want the best you know for profit for konami or anything like that but we want the best from a selfish way that like i want to sit down if i'm spending to choose or if i'm choosing to spend my time i want to be selfish and play a game that i enjoy the most do you know what i mean like i want to play out wide i want to play dribble dribble centric football take on the man and possession football where i'm like winning maybe one nil two nil and like dominating an opponent i want to play that game but then somebody else might want to have play a different game. They might want ping pong and tricks and dribbles and skill moves and all that. Um, right. So I do think, look, I do think that, yeah, I still am really, like, really enjoying it. Um, it's just, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like eating a burger without sauce or without cheese. And it's like, yeah. ugh, like <laughs> it's still a burger. It's still nice, but it's like, oh, it'd be so much nicer if I just had a nice bit of fresh cheese or lettuce on it. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what it's like to me. It's like, I'm still loving what I'm eating, but it's like, I think when we are as passionate as we are about it and we're doing podcasts and stuff like that on it, like you just want the best for what your experience, you know, that you want to enjoy out of it. Um, you know, cause I probably do more complaining about COD than I do about eFootball at the moment. Um, you know, I think that has more issues, but that's a whole different podcast, but yeah, man. I mean, I think that kind of covers everything. I need to go because I'm in a meeting there in like yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, but it was great. It, yeah, it's it great to have a catch chat. up. It's yeah. been a while. It's been a while. And, and but, I think uh, leaving it at like the best part about eFootball to me is that we have a base. Yeah, like, it's not agreed. something where they're redoing everything for the next year. Like, yeah, everything is it's going to be continuously built off of this unreal engine and kind of moving forward. And and so I think that's a, that's a good benefit. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah. They don't need to look at camera angles. They don't need to look at, you know, anything. They have the base for the pass and the shoot and the animations. They just need to expand upon it. So I don't think we'll see this come into fruition until like another year, really. You know, and even for me, I still think the dribbling is the best in like any football. Oh yeah, no, it is. I, I ask anyone awesome. to go back and play. Man, I went back playing PES 2013, like, and I'm loving it because I've accepted exactly what it is and the limitations of it. But like, it just does not. Like, you just have, you just cannot play the game apart from one way. Like, you have to play the way the game encourages you to play. Whereas right. at least in eFootball, you can pass the ball around, you can stun and shot, you can stun and cross, you can open up the space. It's hard to do it. It's even harder now with V1.2 um than it was in v1.0 but Mm. like you go back and play pez 2021 man like there was one way to play it it was ping pong passing online you could play offline different ways yeah but um i do agree with you the dribbling is more rigid to me yeah when i went with the movement and stuff yeah yeah but the dribbling is brilliant i think in this year like not even just the little deft touches and flicks and little stuff like that change in acceleration but all right, you, man. man. We will end it there. Thanks for coming on and taking the time. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, absolutely. We will get That's this up quite that. soon. And uh, I'll let you go back to, to beasting on your your streaming. Sounds good, man. All Thanks right, for man. having we me. We will talk I'll to you later, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the podcast and other episodes if you've missed any. We'll be back quite soon. Peace.